This is going to focus on the pH scale, the pH of acids and pH of bases, and one question on pH of polyprotic acids. So let's understand first what is this pH scale. A pH scale is a scale which runs from 0 to 14 with uh, 7 in the middle. 7, 0 to 7 we call it as the acidic, 7 to 14 is basic and at 7 we have neutral and uh, the acidity increases from 7 to 0. So if you have a lower number it is more acidic and the basic nature increases from 7 to 14. So 14 is the um, highest basic and pH uh, based on the hydrogen ion concentrations is defined as pH is equal to negative law of concentration of H positive and uh, it can also be written in terms of pOH which is equal to negative law of concentration of OH minus and anytime pH and pOH are added we get a uh, number equal to 14. So pH plus pOH is always equal to 14. Calculate the pH of the following solution. Uh, we are given 10 to the power of negative 3 molar HCl, 10 to the power of negative 4 molar NaOH and 10 to the power of minus 5 molar calcium hydroxide 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 molar HBr. So the first question, HCl being a strong acid, ionizes completely. Therefore, the concentration of the hydrogen ion will be the same as concentration of HCl. And hence, substitute in the value for concentration of hydrogen in the pH equation. And I get pH is equal to 3. For NaOH also, same as HCl, being a strong base, it ionizes completely. And hence, uh, first you get, since this gives me the hydroxyl ion concentration, I will get the value of pOH and convert the pOH into pH as 10. Then uh, for calcium hydroxide, for every 1 mole of calcium hydroxide, I get 2 hydroxyl ions, 2 OH minus, and therefore the concentration of hydroxide will be 2 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Substituting this in the equation, pOH equation, I get the value of pOH as 4.7. And the pH value becomes equal to 9.3. And HBr is the same case as HCl. And uh, since it is a strong acid, hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the HBr concentration. And uh, substituting the values, I get the value of pH as 2.6. Let's do the pH of a weak acid now. Find the pH of a 0.25 molar H of solution. Ka of H of is given. So the reaction, it's a weak acid, so it ionizes as shown. And what do we have to do in order to calculate the pH? We need to get the concentration of hydrogen ion. So let us set up the ice box. So initial concentration of HF is 0.25 and uh, of hydrogen and the fluoride ions are 0. So the HF's concentration will change by negative x and the HF and F, uh, H positive and F minus will increase by positive x. So we get the equilibrium concentrations of all the species. So uh, set up the Ka equation and substitute the values into it. And using a small k approximation, we can get the value of x. The value of x is the uh, value of concentration of hydrogen ions. So using that, we will be able to get the pH of HF. Calculate the pH of a 1.50 molar ammonium hydroxide of which 12.5% is dissociated. So how do we do this? 12.5% dissociated means the concentration of hydroxide ion is 12.5% of the concentration of the base. So I can calculate the concentration of hydroxide ions is 12.5 divided by 100 times 1.50 and uh, from the concentration of hydroxide ion I can get the value of pOH and once I get pOH, I definitely I can get the value of pH. Calculate the pH of 0 0.280 molar H2SO3. Ka, it's a dibasic acid or it gives two hydrogen ions in solution. Therefore, the two Ka's of sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid is given. And let's uh, consider first the first ionization of H2SO3 and uh, set up the ice box and calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions. And from that, the concentration of hydrogen ion comes as 1.8 into the power of negative 2. Now, let's, uh, we, uh, we couldn't do the small x approximation. We have to do the quadratic equation to calculate the value of x. So, for the second ionization, 
when we calculate the hydrogen ion concentration we can do a small k approximation and the concentration of hydrogen ions is uh, much lower than the one which we got from the first ionization and therefore since it is so low it can be neglected in the it can be just left out in the calculation of pH therefore the pH is calculated only using the first ionization the, con uh, the of the higher sulfurous acid that is the concentration of hydrogen is taken as just 1.8 into the power of negative 2 and the pH is calculated to be equal to 1.7